Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, today we're going to be getting three Gunmark Renews on the T-30, the Tier 9 American uh, Tank Destroyer. As you already saw, Arda said hi in the chat, so I told them, please Arda, don't fuck this up for me because I was really close to the, to the third Gunmark before this game. And since we uh, spawned on, we got Malinovka, I decided to go a little bit on the lazy side. And just stay here in the base because there's quite a lot of damage to be farmed at the beginning of the game. Especially if you got scouts, and we do have some scouts. Can't really say they're doing a lot of work, but uh, yeah. Even if you got, even with my with my T30, I can get spots just by sitting at the window here. Like if you got a tank with a lot of V range, you can easily like get spots in the enemy base, especially when they shoot. Because when a tank shoots, that's when they lose their that's when it loses their chemo value. So you can easily get spots. Uh, yeah, usually this is a really great position for hold down tanks. Maybe not so good for the um, T30 though. Because the hull is pretty tall on this one. So you can't exactly hide your hull completely at the windows here. And just peek with your turret. I'm gonna be doing a lot of blind shots this game. It's very easy to actually blind shot the, the enemy base. There's those couple of uh, well-known positions where everyone uh, goes there so it's yeah quite easily to to do blind shots and since I wasn't getting any spots notice that my scouts weren't doing exactly the greatest thing and uh, one of them is dead already I think the guy who went to get the early spots and the other ones are pretty much in well not so good positions for a scout. Let's let's put it that way. Let's put it mildly. Like a good scout would have went to D6 by now and spotted that entire area. But can't do anything. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, this is where I told him that we need spots. He's uh well he moved in <laughs> like one meter. <laughs> he moved in one meter then he stopped. So yeah, and already saying that he knows where I am. Yeah, like I told them already, don't fuck this up for me, man. I'm pretty sure I, I have had times where already shot me here inside this uh, building because somehow already is able to lob shells through the windows. Oh, super accurate. <laughs> but yeah, well, I said at the beginning that I was a little bit on the lazy side and just decided to to stay here. But then again, this is Malinovka, so. The the most relevant position on this map is the hill, and if I would have went for the hill straight away, I would have probably made it there when either all the enemy tanks were dead or my team was dead. It's not exactly the fastest tank, especially uphill. It's terrible, so a little bit on the lazy side and a little bit on the realistic side. Can't really go up the hill that fast. But, yeah, I have had games where I collected plenty of damage just by sitting in the base here. So, I only sit in the base, let it be done. I only, I only stay here from, from this side because it's quite easy to, to, to shoot the opposite parts. Like this, our spawn has a lot of cover because of the buildings. The other side doesn't have so much. Usually if I'm spawned on the other side, if I see scouts like doing early spots, there's a rhyme metal there, can I hit him? Nope, I missed. From the other spawn, if I if I see a scout doing some early spots, I'll maybe sit at uh, like D3 behind the rock for a little while to see if I can shoot it. I'll move towards the hill or D6. But yeah, not really a big fan of I've seen in the base from the other side. But then again, I I'd only do this with a with a super slow tank, like a B3 for example. Not saying T30 is that slow, but it is slowish. I got a kill on the E50. Well, still nothing much to do. Sorry, guys, it's not such a exciting game. I might have hit the T95 there. Sorry, it's not such a exciting game. But uh, 
who cares? This T30 gun works gave me like nightmares. Like was one of the I think b besides the lower there's another shot on Rhyme Metal and I'm reacting nice uh, I think besides the, the lower this was one of the most annoying gun marks ever because the tank is slow it's very very unarmored you might think that the turret works well the turret gets overmatched most of the time so I get pinned in the turret cheeks and let's not forget about the gun handling I mean you got two gun choices the 120 millimeter or this 155 and they're both terrible like the gun handling is absolutely terrible and let's not forget that you shoot once every 18 seconds with a big gun with the small gun it's like once 8 seconds it, it, small gun is more reliable but then again you kinda lose the fear factor of a, of a TD so people will just push into you easy when they know they won't get hit by 750 alpha uh, let's just say this wasn't the most uh, pleasant gun mark grinding experience yeah but then again I, this was easier than the lower the lower on the other hand well it was just as slow but I think the armor was any worse on the lower yeah the, the armor was definitely worse on the lower and I only managed to get a little bit of damage from the armor was definitely worse on the lower and the lower didn't even had a big punchy gun so that's that at least it's not low there's a T95 there, but I'm not really sure that I can actually pen him. I'll probably have to load some high explosive to actually have a chance of doing some damage, though. Um, of course, the balance I would only pen if I would hit the commander's hatches, so... In all honesty, I should load some high explosive and try to have a go with that. Or just keep doing blind shots in the base where the first net was. Both work, I guess. At this point, you can't leave the base anymore, anyways. I mean, you shouldn't leave the base. T95 is gonna push in there or something, so. Yeah, I loaded some high explosive. Uh, let's see if I can hit him first of all. Mm, not bad. 385 for a T95 hit. That's not bad at all. But I think he's backing off, so. I don't, he's gonna, gonna stay there. That's the the bad part about having huge reload time. Can't really blind shot too much. Mm, well, where the tank was last seen moving or something, because he will most likely be gone. Okay, the GV tire killed the ATI. I forgot to tell you, the RD was like uh, watching the stream and knew was killing like the guys around me. I don't think that AT15 was ever spotted, but. The Arty somehow smacked him. That yeah, was kind of kind of shitty, but hey, at least he didn't shoot me right. I wanted to go around here, but uh, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go on the left side and try to deal with the T95 first. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's try to deal with the guy first. Not really spotting him. Don't really have the greatest view range, but T95 will have camo behind the bushes and stuff. Let's do a blind shot before anything. And let's wait some more, I guess. Yeah, not really feeling that confident going against the 95 and of course we still have a scout that's not doing anything. I think the guy is like AFK. He hasn't moved from that position since the beginning. So I think he was AFK. He just moved up there and yeah. He said, fuck it, what happens, happens. If I spot, I spot. If not... So I gotta go in and try to spot the, the T95 myself. Well, at some point, since I keep going back to my camping position. <laughs> yeah. Well, this can... Uh, you can consider this either camping or sniping. I mean, I did get some, some damage from here. But I think it's mostly camping because it's kind of a useless position. Yeah. The only excuse I got is I was too lazy because this is a slow tank, so I didn't want to drive around for nothing. But yeah, 
this is this is this is like 50 50 camping and sniping it's probably mostly camping now because the team is not uh providing any spots so i gotta go i gotta go probably should have moved a long time but i think i was feeling too comfortable because i thought i got some blind shots and i'll get the gun marks with this game yeah regarding the gun marks though i think you need like um Maybe three, 3.5 key damage to increase in the gun marks with this thing, or the, yeah, to actually go for the three marks. But um, yeah, you might say it's not that hard since you got 750 alpha damage. I can tell you it is a major pain, yes, because this gun will throw you so many times. I mean, I don't know what's the the worst gun you have played so would or not the worst gun the most trollish gun i think the yak panzer e100 was the most trollish gun i played with and i think this one is even worse because the gun dying is worse terrible but yeah in all honesty what 3k damage would be like what four shots shouldn't be that much but if you do get to play this tank you'll see that that can be quite tricky at times t95 spotted me here he moved all the way back to the base I can't do anything about it, I'll have to take a shot, so then I'm gonna drop down. I shouldn't really have a snapshot of that, but I'm gonna drop down now and go cool down. I guess he's gonna drive towards me or something. I'm gonna try to kill him. We'll see. Again, he can pen my turret super easy, like shooting me in the turret cheeks or command as such or overmatching the top of my turret. This tank is full of weak spots. Can I get it up? Yep, but so did he. There we go. That's what the the T30 armor is all about. Super unreliable. I killed the T95 and there's only a Ferdinand left to deal with. Again, I'm not gonna push in. I'm gonna stay cool down and see where the guy actually is. Oh, there we go. He's actually coming for me. I snapshot a little bit and I gotta go back. Luckily, he shot my turret and bounced. And I got this huge, huge, huge reload time, so I gotta back off all the way and hope that I'm gonna be reloaded by the time he comes in. Come on, 30. There we go, shoot 714. No, can he ram me? Can he ram me? No. Oh well. Well, good thing he didn't aim, and he bounced the shot again. Wow. Poor guy, man. And I got a 30 kill. Well, let's just say that wasn't the most exciting game ever, but it got the job done. So we got a three gun Macarinos on the T30, uh, high caliber, and I think that's like uh, lucky metal, something when you ricochet. Not exactly sure. Uh, we got uh, 66, 67k credits, almost 1,739 XP. Ended up with 5,289 damage, five kills, 1,159 base XP. We got a little bit of assist damage, 596. And in the end we lost 8.7k credits. Mainly because I got cola and I blind shot it quite a lot. Well that pretty much concludes our video for today guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you did don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what you think about the T30 in the comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.